And the first thing they always ask is how deadly is the red belly black snake? That's how people imagine snakes, everything's deadly. Or they want to know if it's deadly, and if it is deadly, how quickly am I going to die from it? That's how people think when it comes to snakes. Do you know how many people actually die in Australia from snake bite? We get about two people a year die of snake bite. In Australia, snake bite is not commonly associated with you just walking along and getting bitten by a snake. Snake bite is usually associated with direct interference with the snake. Like people go, oh, there's a potentially deadly snake. Let's go and harass it. Don't interfere with snakes. Zero interference. What do you think I'm going to throw it over the fence at you? Yeah? Many times I walk up to the fence and people all walk backwards. And then when I walk away again, they come back to the fence. In Australia, most of our snakes are active foragers. They actually stay out of your way. If you go near them, they're able to move away from you very quickly. They're not an ambush predator that sits there and now unable to move and just sort of waits. They do a pretty good job of staying out of your way to begin with. But you give them an opportunity and they disappear. Allow it a escape route. If you do have a snake around and you want it removed, you don't want it there, the very best way to deal with a, a venomous snake in that circumstance is to contact a licensed professional. If you think you've been bitten by a venomous snake, the most important thing to remember is to move away from where the snake is. Don't attempt to catch or kill the snake. Just leave it be. You should seek medical attention straight away. You should ring triple zero. The next important step is to not wash the affected area and remove jewelry. Keeping as still as possible really helps. Immobilization. The next most important step is the pressure immobilization technique. Using a pressure immobilization bandage. On the affected limb, you bandage from the tips of the limb leaving, in this case, the fingers exposed, wrapping very firmly, keeping the thumb tucked away so that there's, it inhibits the movement. Because we don't want any movement. Movement of the limb creates movement in the lymphatic system. Now you bandage the whole limb affected. And if you have another bandage, you bandage over the top with that as well. You also put a splint, if possible, to stop the arm bending. Any bending of the arm creates movement of fluid through the lymphatic system. It's very important to mark on the bandage where the bite site is and what time the bite occurred. Once you've been bandaged up, it's then best to sit the patient down or have them lie in the recovery position. 